friends, Goddess of Awesome here, and I wanted to do a follow-up on this video really quick since I still have my hat on and still kind of in shooting mode. I wanted to elaborate a little bit on the interesting, interesting looking ones because I didn't really go into that in the last video I made for you. And I'm probably not going to want to revisit this topic again, so let me just get it all out here today right now. Um, interesting looking ones. The, the cocks that were interesting looking that I have seen. I've actually seen a cock look like, and I've seen this a couple times, a cock that looks like, have you ever boiled hot dogs? Like stuck them in water and boiled them? And then have you ever overboiled it? You know, like when the ends start to split. You know, you know what I'm talking about. An overboiled hot dog. I've seen that. That that exists. I've seen it more than once. I've seen it at least a couple times. The first time I seen it, I was shocked. You know, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I worked on it just the same, but like the head, the head wasn't a perfect like mushroom cap kind of thing. And the, the two that I seen, um, they were they were actually maybe they, I don't know, they, I would have considered them circumcised, but maybe they never circumcised them because they knew what they had. I don't know. It's, I don't know. But I can tell you that the head on the tip, it wasn't a round tip that kind of, you know, it wasn't a helmet or a mushroom cap. It, 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 on the end, it was like split. Now, it wasn't like split in a way where it was pieces. It just, it looked like an overboiled hot dog. That's the easiest way I can describe it. So that was interesting, right? I put that in the interesting category. Also, what's interesting, and I've seen this quite a few times, is, um, okay, so on the head of the cock, you have the urethra, right? And that doubles as the ejection point for the semen, right? The urethra covers urine coming out and semen coming out, right? They both come out from the same hole. So in general, most boys have their hole on the tip, right? The very, very tip of their head. So that's extremely common to see that. So I've seen it to where it's not on the tip of the head, that it's actually like, let's, okay. So let's just say this is one. And this is the tip of the head. And maybe the urethra point would be here and it would eject from here, right? I've seen it where it's down here. So here's the head. There's no hole on the tip of the head the hole is here. So here's the, sh the base, the shaft, the head, and kind of where the, the mushroom cap, kind of where the ridge of the head would be, was where the urethra point was. So, so I imagine if those boys were taking a piss, you know, their aim would have to be, they were already aiming down as nature just made it that way for them. And also the, the release point for the semen, obviously at the same place, right? So when they ejaculate, it would come from here, not here. So I've seen that a few times. And um, the first time I did see that was on the boiled, the one that looked like it was, so I've seen a couple that looked like they were overboiled. The first one was much extreme, then the next one wasn't as bad. But for the first one, absolutely, the one that looked like its head was just overboiled, like an overboiled hot dog, it had that too. It didn't have its, its point was not on the tip. Its point was here, down here was the, the opening, you know? So that's interesting, right? Nature is interesting. There's a lot of different designs that are possible 
within the makeup of a human being, you know. And definitely even the ones that I told you too that I seen from here, some of those weren't overboiled looking, they were just normal looking. They just didn't have it on the tip. They had it on the shaft, the upper part of the shaft, you know. So those are a couple of the interesting looks that I have seen. I mean, I've definitely seen my fair share of lots of different heads, you know, so there can be tons of different heads out there. Um, not one of them is better than the other. It just is what it is. Now, I'm sure girls look really different everywhere, too, you know, and again, I'm a heterosexual, so I don't really have a lot of experience with different yonis. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure. That, I mean, well, you, you can see porn and you can see all the girls are different, right? Some girls have more of a clit, like the little man in the boat is a little bigger. You know, some girls have a lot less in that spot. You know, some girls have more labia. Some girls have less labia. You know, it just depends, you know. But on the boys, that's what I, I've come across at least, you know. those I would consider those interesting looking ones and um, so I just wanted to add that in for you really quick while I'm wearing my cock hat and on the subject of little cocks and big cocks and all sorts of kinds of cocks you know had to make you a, a part two to that video about the interesting cocks that I've seen because I definitely found those extremely interesting you know so you know, I have a preference on what I think a beautiful cock is, but I'm not going to say that to you here right now. I'm not going to. That's just a personal preference of mine, whatever my preferences are, as far as aesthetically pleasing to the eye, you know. So, yeah, so that's all I know about that. I just wanted to share that with you. So, if you like this video at all, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more, please subscribe. And in the meantime, bright blessings and be well.